Hello, in this video we are going to make some everyday projects using the multi-purpose Robert Solby Turnmaster. It has several unique features and is suitable for wood turners of all levels, including anyone that has never turned before. It uses three cutting edge technologies combined with a patented three position indexable head. It is an all-in-one flexible wood turning tool system. More information can be seen on the introductory Turnmaster video on the Robert Solby website and our YouTube channel. Before embarking on any woodworking projects, please read and understand the instructions that came with your tools and wear all appropriate safety equipment. We will use a variety of the large selection of cutters available. The first project we will make is a bowl. Firstly, we will take our bowl blank, which is pre-drilled with a 5 16 or 8 mm hole, and screw it onto the wood screw of the Robert Sorby Patriot chuck. The first thing we need to do is turn the blank down to the round and form our basic bowl shape. The flat underside of the tool gives great stability and the simple use of the detachable cutters makes the Turnmaster extremely easy to use. For fast waste removal without having to worry about sharpening we are using the round shaped tungsten carbide cutter. For ease of use we have a couple of interchangeable heads with the cutters already fitted which is another huge benefit of the Turnmaster. Now with the detail point cutter we can produce our dovetailed foot to hold on to the jaws of the chuck. Back to the round carbide cutter we can now finalise our basic bowl shape. As we can see we have a little torn grain which is usual with a cross grain bowl blank. To achieve a much finer finish we are going to use a high speed steel cutter, the square one. As high speed steel is much sharper than carbide it will cut much cleaner given a much better finish. Now we can rotate the head to the shear cutting position. This will give a near perfect finish with very little sanding required. Sand and finish as required. Now the outside of the bowl is complete, we can turn it around and hold the foot in the jaws of the Patriot chuck. We can hollow out the bowl using the titanium coated high speed steel round cutter in the middle setting. This will remove the waste material very quickly. Again, we can see how easily the Turnmaster achieves this task. As the cutter we are using is high speed steel and is titanium nitride coated, it has a longevity of edge life but gives a superior finish to the tungsten carbide as we mentioned before. We can now turn the head to shear cut position to achieve that near perfect finish straight off the tool. A little sanding with fine paper and a coat of Danish oil and our bowl is finished. Now we will turn a small potpourri bowl. As we have just seen with the turning of the bowl, the blank has been mounted and turned, shaping with the round cutter and producing the finish with the square cutter in shear cut mode. 
Now the outside of the bowl is complete, we can turn it around and hold the foot in the jaws of the Patriot chuck. Sand and finish as required. After marking out, we are using the detail point cutter to define the opening required to fit the potpourri lid. We have now changed to the titanium nitride coated mushroom cutter to hollow the inside of the bowl. Again, we can see how easily the turn master achieves this task. As the cutter we are using is high speed steel and is titanium nitride coated, it has a longevity of edge life but gives a superior finish to the tungsten carbide as we mentioned before. As we can see, the mushroom tool can access deep under the rim of the bowl. Sand finish and proudly display. We will now turn a small lidded box. We have a blank which has been fitted between centres and we will turn down to the round using the tungsten carbide square cutter. Form a tenon on both ends of the blank. Now fit one end into the jaws of the chuck. Turn the head of the turn master to shear cut mode and finish the outside. Define the two sections and part off the main box section with a parting tool. For safety, stop before you part completely through and finish with a fine tooth saw. With the lid remaining in the chuck, hollow out the inside using the box cutter. Take the lid out of the chuck and mount the main section. Measure the internal diameter of the lid and form a recess on the main section. Present the lid and ensure a good fit. Bring the tailstock up to hold the lid for security. Shear cut the outside of the complete lidded box. Using the box cutter again, we will now shape the lid and remove as much of the tenon as safely possible. Sand and finish as required.
Now hollow the main section to the desired wall thickness. Part from the waist using a parting tool and fine tooth saw as before. Hand sand, finish the base and proudly display the box. More information can be seen on the introductory Turnmaster video on the Robert Sorby website and our YouTube channel.